Now let's talk about the process of infection. First uh, step is the attachment and entry of this phage particle. So unlike many other DNA phages that we have already talked about, like T4 phage or lambda phage, which just inject their DNA inside the host, in this case the M13 phages do not inject their DNA inside the host cell. I repeat, they do not inject their DNA. Rather, the entire phage particle are ingested inside. Right? And how is it possible? Is it, it is possible due to the presence of some protein factors outside the phage particle. And the factors are, here in, in, in this case, uh, the factors from the F pillars and uh, the proteins that are present outside. And the factors are GP3 and GP6. Remember, those are called the well, those six pili attachment proteins. So this GP3 and GP6 present in one terminal of this uh, M13 phage usually interacts with the F pillars proteins, and after this interaction, they are kind of uh, stick to that part. And this GP3, we can see there are two, three different domains: N1, N2, and CT domain. So N1 is a domain present at N terminal. N2 is again present at middle and CT domain is called terminal domain which is present at the C terminal region so that's why they are called CT domain now in N1 domain this is a membrane penetration domain which is helping in interaction with a toll A core receptor that is present onto the surface of sex pillars of the bacteria N2 domain is res responsible for the adsorption of this bacteria uh, of this fast to the receptor right uh, receptor present in the tip of F pillars and finally, the CT domain is a domain which is a domain anchored in the virion. Okay, so it is kind of anchored in, inside the virion. So majorly domain 1, N1 and domain N2 are functioning to in, insert this particular phage particle inside the bacterial cell. Here we can see the picture in detail. So in this case, this is the M13 phage. So this is uh, the entry and the first interaction of this entry. So here we can see the P3 and P3 is having two domains outside N1 and N2. So let me take a color here otherwise it will be difficult for me to explain. So let us take it take it here. So here what, what we can see this is N1 and this is N2. Two domains are present. So using N1 it is kind of interacting. It is kind of interacting here with this toll A receptor of the membrane and using N2 it is kind of interacting with the F pillars. So both these interactions are going on simultaneously and as the interaction will go on they are kind of pushing the F pillars down a little bit and then they are bringing this M13 phage into close proximity to the bacterial cell surface. After this process is done what they will do here you can see the pillars is there and after this interaction is going on here using uh, the GP, GP3 protein and as the interaction is going on after the attachment it will bring itself very very close to uh, the cell uh, host cell and as they are bringing it very close to the cell after certain time it's kind of rotating itself and it is kind of injecting its component inside the host cell by penetrating the walls now in this case they do not need to penetrate any wall any cell wall or cell membrane of bacteria because they are taking the entry using the pore from where the pilus is coming or pilus is forming so there is a natural pore inside the bacterial cell membrane they are using this pore to enter through this pore inside the host cell so now as they are entering inside the host cell they are disassembling their components in both the ends, and as you can see their components are provided here with this green color so the green colored components are capsomere proteins kind of dissociating and producing more protective layer in this hole and then the DNA is projected through this hole outside uh, through this